Hey guys, in today's video, we have a quinoa salad recipe with a lemon tahini dressing. So it starts off with one cup of uncooked quinoa that goes into a dry skillet on a medium heat. And you're gonna, you're gonna toast this for about three to five minutes until it's fragrant. Uh, once it's fragrant, you're gonna add in two cups of water. So quinoa is a one to two ratio, uh, one part quinoa to two parts water. And you're gonna bring that up to a boil. Once it's at a boil, you're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, you're gonna cover it and you're gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. Once those 15 minutes pass, you're gonna turn off the heat and you're gonna let it sit there without opening, without opening the lid or without doing anything to it. As far as vegetables goes, I used uh, I used a tomato, a cucumber, some spinach, cilantro, and mint. But there's a lot of different things you can add to this. Uh, feta cheese works really well. Chickpeas, bell peppers, tons of things you can add, and it's a great way to get rid of any vegetables you have in the fridge. For the cilantro or mint or any herbs you're using, um, I would cut them into really, really fine pieces because you don't want big chunks of cilantro and mint in your salad. For the tomato and the cucumber, I just did like a medium dice, but if you guys want larger pieces, you guys can obviously leave it bigger, but I think this works the best in this particular salad. As far as the spinach goes, um, I would just give the spinach a rough chop like I did here. Uh, spinach is already pretty flavorless as is, um, but I think leaving the spinach to big chunks, it gives a nice uh, textural contrast. So while I was cutting, the vegetables I realized I had some avocados in the fridge so I decided to use one and I'm really glad I did because the creamy element you get from avocados was just perfect in the salad and if you guys don't know the scoring technique it's like it's fairly common if you have ever cut an avocado you've probably done this but four vertical lines and three horizontal lines results in about half inch cubes and then you can just use a fork or a spoon to scoop out the avocado meat into a bowl. At this point, my quinoa was cooked, so I removed the lid and you can see all that steam. And you want that steam in those five minutes to help finish cook the quinoa. So I just used a fork here to fluff up the quinoa. Caution, never use a metal utensil on a nonstick surface because your nonstick surface will be ruined. Um, for the salad dressing, it's really simple. It's just tahini olive oil, lemon, garlic, and salt and pepper. So you're gonna start with the tahini, which is basically a sesame paste. You're gonna use two tablespoons of tahini, and you're gonna use a quarter cup of olive oil, which is about four tablespoons. So you're gonna add that in. As far as the lemon juice goes, um, you can add about three to four tablespoons. Today I added about three tablespoons, but if you like your dressing to be really lemony, you can add four. And the garlic, the garlic clove, I just used a garlic press uh, because I was feeling lazy and I didn't want to chop it up. But obviously if you want it more garlicky, you can add another clove. And salt, you want to add about half a teaspoon of salt. I just eyeballed it but half a teaspoon is the correct measurement. Um, and you can add pepper to taste. In this case, I added quite a bit of pepper because I like the pepperiness um, in the dressing. But if you want less, you can add less and it's pretty much to taste.
You're gonna give that a nice stir and then you're gonna pour your dressing onto all the vegetables and you're gonna mix that really, really well. And you wanna let that sit for a few minutes just to let the flavors develop and let the vegetables soak in some of that dressing. Once your quinoa is cooked, you're gonna get your quinoa and you're gonna put it into the bowl. Um, I've already done it here, but please make sure you, your quinoa is cold um, because if it's hot, your vegetables are gonna get soggy and it's not gonna taste good. So you're gonna give that a really, really good mix. You're gonna make sure all the sauce is incorporated evenly and you can just plate that up and your quinoa salad is done. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.